So we took a look at base two numbers, but these are just ones and noughts, and on their own they're stagnant, they don't really do anything. So what we need is processing units. They're going to process those units, those zeros and ones, and they're going to produce output, like right now. You are seeing me on your screen, you are hearing me. You are also able to, with a calculator, add numbers together and see the output. You don't get a load of ones and zeros flying all over your screen. So this is why it's so important to understand processing units. That's where the real magic happens. And you have three major processing units within your computer. You have the GPU, the SPU, and to the more notable CPU. Now we're working with the same ones and zeros, the same units. So how come we can take these ones and zeros and produce an output on our screen in pixel data, an output through sound, a sound wave, or we could make those ones and zeros part of a mathematical equation? So how do we do this? Well, depending on where your ones and zeros go, they will produce a different output. So we have the GPU, the graphics processing unit. Now if I send my bits, my units, over to the GPU, the graphics processing unit, it will process my units, my ones and noughts, and it will produce a pixel on the screen. Then if I send the same bits to my SPU, my sound processing unit, it will process those units, those ones and noughts, and it will send a signal to the speakers and it will output a sound wave. And thirdly, you have the CPU. This is the one that's more notable. The CPU is considered the brains. It deals with logic. So if you wanted to, let's say, process some numbers like a calculator, well, your CPU is absolutely vital because your CPU is the bit where you can subtract numbers and add numbers together and perform complex calculations. And that's where most of your program runs because your programs are based on logic and logic should go to the core processing unit or the CPU. So you can see how you can take your zeros and ones and depending on where you place them as a programmer, if you send them off to the GPU, they're going to produce a pixel on the screen. If you send them over to the SPU, it's going to send a signal and it's going to produce a sound wave. If you send it to the core processing unit, then you could also include it in a mathematical equation and you could do logical operations. So what I want you to take away from this lecture is GPU, SPU, and CPU. Remember, graphics processing unit, sound processing unit, and core processing unit. We work with the same units, the same zeros and ones, and depending on where those zeros and ones go, we get a different output.